All right, folks, so I just got back from McDonald's for an interview, and I have a ton of awesome gems to share here for the glory of the living God. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> at McDonald's today, um, <laughs> that divides by three perfectly, so we're going to solve it. We're going to get it on the board and <laughs> solve it all. I'm loving it. Divides by three, and when she said that word, I felt like laughing inside just because I, it just hit me like a truck when she when she said I'm loving it I uh, I almost lost it I almost burst out in Holy Ghost laughter and uh, doing the math afterwards I'm loving it is like the most three loaded phrase of all time and lo and behold as I walked there on the big billboard beneath the golden arches, which divides by three, is in large capital black letters, God always works in all capitals in this thing, is National Hiring Today, because today is April 15th, which divides by three, National Hiring Day, but on the sign, in three words, it divides by three, and I checked it just before I went in, National Hiring Today, divides by three. So we're going to get these things on the board to the glory of God. At McDonald's today. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> uh, no joke, folks. When she said that during the interview, it was awesome. I love those people. Um, and uh, when she said that during the interview, I almost burst out in laughter. Like, I just could feel the smile practically breaking through. Um, I'm loving it. Okay, so we're going to get these things on the board. Um, and McDonald's is all about friends. That's what I said to her during the interview. That's what McDonald's is, in my opinion. McDonald's is all about friends. Why do you want to work here? Well, because McDonald's is all about friends. <laughs> That's what McDonald's is all about. It's all about love in the deeper sense to the glory of the Trinity. So, we're going to find love in McDonald's. We're going to find love in I'm Loving It. We're going to find love in all these phrases. Um, so, we already went through all these glories here, so we're just going to... Get a brand new whiteboard for McDonald's, and I got a ton of uh, a ton of words on McDonald's that are mathematically perfect. The golden arches, which I already said, divides by three beautifully. McDonald's, the name is very easy. It's seventy-two, a triple of triple eights following the M plus one, um, and uh, everyone's personal favorite, the McDouble. Divides by three, stunningly. Like the McDouble is so perfect. Why don't we get the McDouble on the board? Because that is everyone's favorite. McDonald's sells more McDoubles than any other sandwich. <laughs> because everyone can afford a McDouble. <laughs> and it just so happened the other day, it was a divine appointment. There was a couple people that were out of money. They were basically homeless, stuck there. They didn't have a phone. I, they uh, asked if they could borrow my phone. I said yes, let them use it for like a half an hour. And um, I could tell they didn't have any money and I bought them some McDoubles. Two McDoubles. So we're going to get the McDouble on the board first in the name of love. And then we're going to go through a whole bunch of McDonald's gems. So McDouble... <laughs> McDouble is so beautiful. Pairwise, did you know that the Triune God who plays with galaxies in his spare time invented the McDouble long before the foundation of the universe. And he is three persons in one, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. And grade one children can do the math. McDowell makes pairwise threes from the outside in. Just like the personal name of God, Jehovah. Done. There, we just did it in less than five seconds. I just proved mathematically that the McDowell was foreordained by the triune God to the glory of the Trinity. M plus E equals 18 divides by 3. C plus L both divide by 3 by themselves. Together they make 15. I'm going to underline the letters that divide by 3 so you can really have your breath taken away on the obviousness of this. Okay. D plus B equals 6 divides by 3. O plus U both divide by 3 coming together to make 36. So, can we find love in a McDouble? Of course we can. Love equals 54. You take the two center letters and the two rooks on the chessboard. In fact, this is just like a chessboard because you've got eight letters here. A game of chess is played with eight pieces in the back with eight pawns in front. So these are literally the rooks on the chessboard. This would be the king and the queen. So can you find love in a McDowell? Of course you can. Take the two center letters, which makes 36, 
And the two bookend letters, which makes another 18, 36 plus 18 equals love, in this beautiful triangulational effect to the glory of the triune God who is love. And then the remaining points are another 21, to give us a grand total of 54 plus 21, 75 for McDouble to the glory of the triune God. But look at where you find love in McDouble. It's perfectly pitchforked in three. One, two, three, rooks, king and queen of the chessboard. And it, as for that chessboard analogy, most people would agree that the most expensive pieces on the chessboard are in these exact locations. The king and the queen are right here, and these are, in fact, the highest value letters in this word that divide by three. They're also the highest value letters in this word, period. I wouldn't even be surprised if they actually occupied the perfect king and queen position. Like, this is the highest value one, the O and the U, does the king sit on the left or on the right on the chessboard? I don't remember. But then the rooks of the chessboard are the next most expensive pieces on the chessboard. You've got the king and the queen, and then the rooks, and then most would say the bishops and the knights are similar in value. But these are the most expensive pieces on the chessboard, and by divine ordinance in McDouble, they are the ones that add perfectly to equal love to the glory of eternity. So, can you find love in the McDouble? Of course you can. Every McDouble is a gift of love. A homeless person, to a homeless person, a McDouble is the classic gift. There have, been more, there have been more McDoubles purchased by homeless people than any other sandwich, probably in any other restaurant in world history. Because the McDouble is the cheapest sandwich, it has the most protein per dollar value, and someone with just a little bit of change coming off the street can afford a McDouble. And I marvel at how the humblest, the seemingly humblest, meekest things of the earth have the most beautiful names mathematically. Look at that. Pairwise threes from the outside in. How many strokes does it take to carve a McDouble? Of course, whenever this appears, it's in all capital letters. You've got um, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, double eight. So in eight letters, it's double eight strokes. To so the glory of Jesus equals eight at eight. You've got lots of eights in there showing off. So there you go. Oh my goodness. Whoa, big revelation. Now when you say the McDouble, because there is only one, you add 33 points to the party, which brings the grand total up to 108, which equals love plus love, which equals worship. That is insane. So we already found love number one. Well now the word the comes along to knit together with the rest to make love number two. A miracle. So this is 33, and obviously this was 21. There's love number two. I mean, boom, boom, boom. And another triad is love number two. And God has been leading us to find love 54 in everything we saw. So there you go, the McDouble. Love plus love. You're going to want to run out there and get a McDouble. <laughs> and now when you get your McDouble, what should you do with it? You should give it to someone. Because that's what love is doing something for someone else, getting something for someone else. So you go to McDonald's, you buy a McDouble, and then you give it to the guy on the street with the corner with a sign saying, hungry. <laughs> That's the best thing you can do with a McDouble. <laughs> God will lead you. Um, That's so cool! The current date and time for historic purposes is 10.41 a.m., April 15th, 2015, in Langley, British Columbia, Canada, where I just came back from McDonald's, and I had an interview with the manager there on the site interviews. Today is National Hiring Day for McDonald's, and um, I just got back from there. So now, and I got a bunch of gems we're going to solve here. Um, now, of course, fries, you can get fries with anything. Fries divides by three, we all knew that. Just like the word potato equals the word ketchup equals 84, divides by 3. Fries. And then you can get yam fries. Man, I had some of those at Cax Club. Yam divides by 3. Yam fries divides by 3. Potato fries. Okay. Just like hash brown. Okay. So this is 27 plus, uh, this is 57. So if you get a McDouble plus fries, you get 75 plus 57. <laughs> Both numbers dividing by 3. Okay. <laughs> equals 132 divided by 3. Okay, so I want to back up the truck to my personal story. The personal progression of what happened this morning, step by step, 
Remember, step by step, every word divides by three. Step by step, gem by gem, okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> honestly, I've had the jingle. Jingle divides by three. Ah! Okay, so now we gotta get the word jingle on the board. Quick, because I've had the jingle at McDonald's today going through my head periodically since yesterday and this morning. And pay attention to what's going through your head because that's God talking. Like when you're filled, when you're living life for God and you're filled with the Holy Ghost, pay attention to your thoughts because that's God starting to like prod you in a direction. Okay, so we need to solve every jingle. <laughs> I, I can say this one anytime, any day, and just get happy instantly. At McDonald's today. I'm sorry, one more time. At McDonald's today. You can say, okay. Um, <laughs> you can say it At McDonald's today. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so, jingle. First, we're going to solve the word jingle, so we take the word for all the jingles. So, this is really beautiful. Very similar to McDouble. Again, pairwise letters from the outside in make multiples of three with the second letter in and the second letter back, dividing by three, just like Albert Einstein's name, first and last. Yeah, we've just solved every jingle to the glory of the Trinity. What do these numbers make? You got 15 plus 21 plus 21. That's 57 in total. So, one jingle equals three eighths. A triple of the eighth prime, 19. Multiple jingles, therefore, equals 4 eighths. The glory of G equals 8 eight. I just took you into 8 land for a few moments. But there you go. 3 fast. Okay. So now, what is the jingle? <laughs> At McDonald's today. Okay. So that's what we're going to solve now, is the, <laughs> the jingle that I had running through my head. I can say that all day long. At McDonald's today. Um, okay. So, at McDonald's today, we're going to solve right now. At McDonald's today. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> at McDonald's today. i got to be like the new, okay, spokesperson for that. Okay, so, this is how I did this in my mind. And you can do this a whole bunch of ways. Um, I did this. You, you can recognize that the fact that, well, you can do it a couple ways. I'm just going to keep going with what I've started here. Um, at also divides by 3, all by itself. And day divides by 3. And this, this M can knit together with that T to make 33. You can do it a bunch of ways. Okay, let's just start. Let's get the grand total. While we're doing that, I'm going to solve the name McDonald's itself. The name McDonald's, just the de facto big name McDonald's. This is a very easy, very special one. McDonald's starts with M plus one in front and has S plus one in back. Okay, so whether you take um, the name McDonald, that's the glory of threes there with a steam locomotive S on the end, or you can take the M in front plus one is the steam locomotive on the front. And then this is a gold train of threes as well. So you have two options, which is very awesome. You can take this gold train of threes right here, which is the word McDonald. That kind of makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? McDonald. Or you can take the gold train back here, which personally I like to take because it equals 72, a triple of triple eights. And that is the same thing God ordained in two other, in a whole bunch of other famous things, not the least of which is the company Subway and the battery company Duracell. <laughs> big, big, famous names. Okay, that start with a plus one in front, followed by the gold train of threes, which is 72, a triple of triple eights in Subway and in Duracell. Okay, and then batteries divided by three, but this is 72, a triple of triple eights. And that is what God has ordained in the company McDonald's, the company Subway, the company Duracell. And you can feel that introductory letter as the plus one trill into the glory. And you can drag it out if you want. Mmm, McDonald's, like that. Or you can go Subway. Um, okay. And uh, so 72 is a triple of triple eights. 
a tic-tac-toe board of eights to the glory of G is equals eight eight. Eight times nine, just like that. That's that's seventy-two right there. So that's the glory of McDonald's. Now, if you just took the name McDonald as the the glory train of threes, then that uh, value equals sixty-six, which equals happy, which equals family, which equals blessed. So I'm liking that one as well. See that? If we take this as the glory train of threes, we get sixty-six, which equals happy which equals family. I mean, that, that is basically McDonald's mantra defined. At least it was, I think they're still doing a pretty good job. I think, I remember when I was a kid, I think it was even more family-minded. It was even more, but I think they're still doing a great job. Absolutely. Um, this is so famous, 66. Equals happy, equals family, equals blessed, equals wedding, equals sugar, equals woman, and I can go on and on and on about the, the obviousness of three there. So that's, that's if you take the word McDonald's. McDonald's equals happy, equals blessed. And of course you have the McHappy Meal. Or is it just the Happy Meal? It's the Happy Meal. <laughs> you know, McDonald's is all about the smile. You know. uh, hi, can I take your order please? Um, so. That's, and then you can, you, can, um, you can get more threes out of that, you know, you can poke around. So I, I, like, I like taking this, the 72 there, C equals 3, O divides by 3, L divides by 3. So the more you look, the more you see equal 3. So you've got three letters that divide by 3. So add that to the glory train. And then they also add to make 30 perfectly. <laughs> Good night. Oh yeah, can we find love in McDonald's? Absolutely. That's what God always leads us to do, is find love. Um, you got... L-O right there, and then you, oh yeah, perfect, here's love, here's love number one, M-N 27 plus O-L 27, 27, 27, 54, love, that's just one way of finding love in McDonald's, you can find it some other ways, okay, um, and what other threes do we want to poke here, I'm, I put the D and the N together because that makes 18, a multiple of 9, then you've got the word sad here to make 24, triple eight. If you chose this, N plus A plus D, you get another 18. Um, then you get like pure nines, basically. 27 plus another 18 plus another 18 plus another 3. So it's just loaded. It's loaded. And then um, the number of letters is 9, which is 3 times 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And uh, you can easily divide them into three teams that divide by 3. So there's three letters that divide by 3 individually. Let's put those guys on one team. And then let's grab uh, three plus ones. Let's, let's grab the, the, the bookends. I like to always do that. And the A in there. That's team number two. And then team number three would be the remainder of three letters. B and... Um, oh, right, 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 right. But the grand total does not divide by three, so that's where you get. What is the grand total de facto of McDonald's? It's 72 plus 13 is... 85, which divides by 5, which glorifies number 3 anytime it divides by 5, because 5 is the third time, okay? Um, and that is 5 times 17, okay. Fine, okay, so let's now solve the slogan at McDonald's today. At McDonald's today. Um, <laughs> and, and letter for letter, the, the famous MC, McNuggets. Oh boy, this is going to give me a fail. Can you imagine if the interview for McDonald's was, say as many words in 10 seconds as you can that begin with MC. Go! <laughs> Just kids like, uh, uh, McDouble, uh, McNuggets, uh, McHappy, uh, McDonald, uh, McChicken, uh, McFlurry, uh, Mc... Big Mac. <laughs> You're just like, ah. The, the manager's sitting there with a stopwatch like, sorry, kid, you're out of here. <laughs> it's like you have to get like 10 mix in 10 seconds in order to get the job. Um, now, that would be cool. Okay. Uh, new, new hiring quiz. That would be like the bonus quiz. If I was a manager there, that would be like the end like bonus. Like if you get like 10 mix in 10 seconds, I don't care what the rest of the interview was like, you're in, kid. And you're like, okay. Um, <laughs> so... At McDonald's. So uh, now let's let's solve the slogan that I had going at McDonald's today. You know, you almost feel like you should give your head a little bob, 
when you get that today, you know, it just it just kind of feels that way. At McDonald's today. <laughs> there. See, that's exactly how it's supposed to be said on camera. Just a little head bob with the two last syllables of today. One more time. At McDonald's today. There, there, there it is. Record that. There. Perfect. Okay. Take that one to the CEO. That okay. So at McDonald's. <laughs> So what does this all add to? Well, we got 72, 85, so we're at 105, we're at 120, we're at 150, plus 21. Oh, my, hit me like a truck. At McDonald's today equals 171, which is a triple of triple eights by the law of prime. It's that guy right there. Because this is three times three times 19, okay? And 19 is the eighth prime, eight, okay? And you've got three times three of them. That's why I say a 3 by 3 grid of 8s. That's exactly what this number 171 is. Okay? It's exactly this to the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8. There you go. And of course, 3 digits, 3. Those 3 digits add to 9. 1 plus 7 plus 1 is 9, which is 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 times 8 is prime. 3 by 3 grid of 8. So it's king. It's king, it's king, it's king. So when you say at McDonald's today, you're glorifying Jesus equals A today, who is the CEO of McDonald's, the owner of McDonald's. Okay, and that's how he has ordained it to be in world history. So, one more time, and one more time, you guys by three. At McDonald's today, there, and you gotta get the head bob. See, you keep your head perfectly straight for the whole time, but then right at the end, you gotta do a little tweak, just like that. Just subtle but subtle but very important. At McDonald's today. There, there it is. There, don't miss it. Okay. So, <laughs> there it is. Get into McDonald's and get a McDouble and. Okay. Um, so, there. And then you can find three loves 54 in there in at McDonald's today. You know, I'm so happy about McDonald's. Let's do it right now. Um, but we're going to find three loves plus nine points in at McDonald's today. So it's going to be triple love plus nine. Three times three. So, boom. Well, we already found one. Okay, we're going to just go with what we had before. We have an O and an L plus an M and an N. The reason we did that is because those are 27 plus 27, which is L O V E. 27 plus 27. So we already have love number one. Let's find love number two. Well, we have, um, okay. Let's go, well, let's, let's, let's take the word at plus the C is 24 plus the word day is another 54. Done. So now we have two loves. Okay, now pull up. Ah, done. Now you, now you pull off the D and the A and the D because that subtracts the nine points that we have. And there you go. Here's love number three. Damn, that was a record time. That was like a Bobby Fischer chess game. Checkmate, thank you. Um, so S-T-O equals love. And then day plus ATC equals love. And then the last love. So three loves plus nine. Every time you say, at McDonald's today. Um, so let's write those. I'm going to have to become the new like Okay. So what are the letters on those teams that equal 54? We had L-O-M-N, which is very special because that's 2727 27, equals 54. Then we had uh, ATC, 24 plus day, equals 54, equals love. Then we had STO, equals 54, equals love. And then we had the word dad, D-A-D. -D. Hey, dad. Dad, that's the nine, left over three times three. Yes, to our satisfaction, in the name of love, we've solved at McDonald's today. There, I did it in the reverse direction that time. See, so, so that's, that's the test. Can you do the head bob in both directions at that final perfect moment? At McDonald's today. Um, okay. <laughs> at McDonald's today. No, that, that's a, okay. that does not work. So at McDonald's today. Um, good. I'm thrilled with that result. Oh my. And the more you look, the more you see. So look at how this is chain linked. This is chain linked with multiples of 3. A, TM makes 33. And it's chain linked here as well. TS makes 39, the marriage couple made in heaven. So the two chain links between the three words together make 72. 
A triple of triple eights. <laughs> wow. And then you got kind of a pseudo book ending here with these three letters, the big 27, the perfect cube of three. Okay, second letter in both of these words divides by three, and you got a D in the same position, and you look, the more you look, the more you see. There you go. Done. So we've solved at McDonald's today. So, wow. Now we're going to solve the golden arches. The golden arches, because that is bookended every step of the way, or chain linked and bookended the whole thing. So, the golden arches are now going to be solved. And again, folks, McDonald's is a fun place. Above all, McDonald's is fun, and it's hilarious. I mean, if you can't have fun and you can't find love at McDonald's, where can you find love? Okay, so, the golden arches. The golden arches. There, that's our new, that's our new jingle for the golden arches. The golden arches. And it's just going to be like this kind of hanging, like, tenor note that leaves people like, okay. The golden arches. Um... The golden arches. This is so beautiful, it's not even funny. Every word has a number of letters that divides by three. Three, six, six. Bam! But that's just the beginning. It's chain linked with threes here. It's chain linked with threes here. And then it's bookended with threes grand total. It's like a rainbow. Bam! You can, in fact, even do, it just occurred to me, you can do the golden arches, you know, and got, <laughs> well, now you got three golden arches, but you can, you can just, okay. <laughs> the golden arches. Again, it needs to be verbalized like this. The golden arches. Okay. Um, so that kind of leaves people on a cliffhanger, like, <gasps> like, there's more coming, right? No, it's like, you've got to get down to McDonald's. The golden arches. And then you just... Cut the commercial right there, and everyone's just like, I thought there was more coming from McDonald's. It's like, I want our McDonald's. It's like, the golden arches. Boom, cut the commercial right there, and people are just like, I want more McDonald's. It sounded like it was incomplete there. Okay, um, so the golden arches. So these chain links make 12, these chain links make 15, and that rainbow bookending makes 39. So all told, chain links bookends equal 66 which equals happy, which equals blessed again. Yay, the same famous 66 we saw already. McDonald equals 66. So happy, 66 equals happy, equals blessed. I am happy to work at McDonald's. I am blessed to be the manager of this establishment. Okay, um, I'm happy, blessed. Okay, so what does it all add to? Well, it's good night. Um, and then every word divides by three. The divides by three, golden divides by three, arches divides by three. Um, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, we all know you don't even need to have the word McDonald's written. You just put up the golden arches and people start pulling over like, as if there was like a cattle drive like on the main road. It's like, <clears throat> quick. <laughs> you, you just put up the golden arches with no text and people just, it's like a magnet mechanism on steering wheels. It's like. Honey, I can't resist the tractor beam! Um, okay, so, what did all these words add to? So, the... <laughs> I mean, seriously, especially if we're taking one of those long road trips and you're going down all the interstate freeways, the interstate freeways in the United States, and you're just... As soon as you see the golden arches, you're like, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Um, okay, so, the equals 33. Golden... Um, is 57 divides by 3 and arches is 2730 54 equals love oh baby so we already found love in the golden arches well the last word equals love can you find love in the golden arches yes you can um, <laughs> it's sitting right there in the last word um, arches equals love Bam! You know, you know, maybe McDonald's is going to have to put a giant red heart, like, kind of in, in the center, you know, in small, like, in the, you know, those golden arches someday, you know. Okay, you know. Um, we got a Canadian flag. Okay, the, the golden arches adds to 144. Oh, it's so beautiful, it's painful. That's 12 times 12. Okay, 
The golden arches equals 144, which is the perfect square of 12. Which is so stinking good for the number 3, I just want to fall down on the ground right now. Okay, so, golden arches, 12 times 12, in three words, 15 letters, threes, and how many strokes? You know, you got to push these things to the upper limit. Uh, I'm just going to check if it's three. If it's not three, I'm going to move on. Yes, golden divides by three in strokes. The divides by three in strokes. We have one word left. Oh my goodness, arches divides by three in strokes. You're never going to say this or look at this the same ever again. You're going to be saying this all day long. You're going to be like, I need to work at McDonald's. Okay. Um, so, the, we have three letters for the. And we have nine strokes. Golden, we have six letters. And we have how many strokes? Three, six, uh, 12, 15. Divides by three. Arches, we have six letters and how many strokes? Three, six, nine, uh, 15. Just like golden. Wow. Somebody say wow. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. Golden arches. Golden arches. I mean, if you just say to someone on this planet the two words golden arches, they're going to ask you about McDonald's. They're going to be like, McDonald's. <laughs> golden arches. Um, McDonald's. <laughs> Look, on the big sign, on this giant tower that's looming over the freeway, I see golden arches coming down from heaven. Look, they're glowing in the night. It's just what I needed. Um, I mean, golden arches are like a, a beacon of hope for the lost soul. Um, okay, so, um, hey, it's McDonald's manager right now. Actually, very well could be. I'll just check who this is. Hello, Derek here. Hey, Jackie, how's it going? Pretty good. Oh, no worries, no worries. Oh, no worries. Hey, is it alright if I call you back in uh, like 10 or 15? I'm just uh, in an appointment right here. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Jackie. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, the golden arches. Three letters, six, so three letters for the, six letters for golden, six letters for arches, and then nine letters for the, 15 letter, 15, nine strokes for the, 15 strokes for golden, 15 strokes for uh, arches. The golden arches. <laughs> okay, so it, it's that loaded. I mean, and then it's chain linked and bookended with threes. And then, and then, like, just golden arches all by itself, you know, adds to 111 perfectly. Like, it's so perfect. It's not even funny. Like, put those two numbers together, you get the famous 111 for the number 3. And then you add 33 to that, you get the famous 144, 12 times 12. You're just going to want to sing a song about the golden arches right now and head down to the nearest golden arches and say, I need a pound of McNuggets. Um, okay, so... There we go. Um, and then this, this just keeps getting crazier and crazier as I look at this. I mean, this T can knit together with this G. It can knit together with this A, like the first, you know, letters in each word. It just golden is wrapped up like this, you know, boom, or just boom, boom. You got lots of nines in here. And, and then you can, the word arch, of course, all by itself divides by three. So a single golden arch divides by three. Um, and, uh, okay. So now our task is the same as always, to find love in the golden arches. And we can find two of them, love plus love plus three. Now this is going to be a challenge because two loves is 108, so we only have three points. So we're going to drop the C there, which equals three, and then our task is to find love plus love in the rest of the letters. So we're going to find the two loves in the golden arches. So we're going to drop the C, okay? So now we're down to 108, which equals love plus love. Now our job is to find those two love teams. Okay. The golden archers. Um, so, well, let's, let's shoot for nines because nines always glorify love. There's the L-O of love, 27. Don't you feel like you're kind of playing like the Monopoly McDonald's game in some ways? It's like, okay, 
you know, I got a piece. To, I got these. Like, I got to piece these things together. You know, we got to make. Okay, L O twenty seven, and then I need another twenty seven. We're shooting for nines. Well, here's R, which is double nine. So now we need another nine. Perfect. Eight put ah, the word hop. So there we go. We've got pure nines here. Triple nine plus double nine plus single nine. Beautiful. Single nine, double nine, triple nine equals triple nine plus triple nine equals love. So there's love number one in that set of letters there. So we found love number one. By the way, you can always do this in multiple ways. For example, I could have taken the H and the S to make 27 straight up. And we would have had 27 plus 27 equals love. Okay. Uh, well, our task is already done because we found love number one. We dropped three points off from the C. That means the remaining letters equal love number two. So we found love plus love in the golden arches. So now you just put the together with the G and the remainder of the letters, and it equals love plus love plus the final C equals three. So can you find love at McDonald's? Yes, you can. Can you find love at the golden arches? Yes, you can. In fact, everything about it is an expression of God's love for humankind. And all the children said, Amen. And all the seniors said, Amen. And all the children of any age said, Amen. Okay, so, uh, there, we solved the golden arches. Should we solve the Big Mac? The one and only. Um, everything can be solved. Um, and, uh, okay. But first, <laughs> first I have to solve um, the gem I got during the interview. <laughs> oh, no. Back to our story, back to my personal journey and the personal story. The first gem that I saw en route was National Hiring Today in big, bold, black capital letters in three lines beneath the golden arches and McDonald's on the sign on the side of 200th Street as I was taking my walk. Okay, so National Hiring Day. Today. No, that's what it said. National Hiring in all capital letters, National Hiring Today. Just like that. Not a penny more or less. It has an exact number value. We're going to get it right now to the glory of the Trying God. And by divine words, today is the 15th, which is king for the number 3. 15 is God's favorite number to glorify the number 3 because it's at the center of his name God and the center of his name Jehovah. In fact, it's the only letter that divides by 3 in both cases. O equals 15. Today is April 15th. It's king for the number three. It's a great day for the number three. Okay, so, um, national hiring today. It's like a beacon in the night. This is you. Okay, and what does this um, glory pile add to? Well, I'm going to show you how I knit it together in my mind to check that it divides by three. I know the day divides by three. That's 30. Okay, um, and then what I, I know that I can see clearly that all this divides by three because and then this is plus 2, I know this is plus 2, and then I know this is plus 2. And then I just check briefly, yeah, A and T knits together to make multiple 3, yeah, and an A knits together to make multiple 3, all the rest of the letters divide by 3, boom. That's how, you, that's how I did it in my mind, saying, yes, national hiring today, na national hiring today divides by 3. You see how quick that is? Like, just walking down the street, I didn't know, I didn't know this was going to appear on the McDonald's sign, but uh, sure enough, a beacon in the night. Actually, it was 9 a.m. basically when I... 9 a.m. Um, okay. So, but look at how beautiful this is. Put all the first letters together. 3 plus 2 is knit together to make multiple 3. And then all of this is 3 fest. In every single word. It's just too obvious. National hiring to the... Get in here, son. You can smell the glory. Um, okay. <coughs> um, Sizzle me nuggets. Okay, so NHT adds to 42. So these four guys, these three guys, pardon me, in the front divide by 3 equaling 42. Now let's just put the, the, the threes on the rest of this. Look at how beautiful this all is to, to divide by 3. It's, it's very obvious. You know, NG knit together, AT knit together, NA knit together. Day and it's together. I'm just going to jump to the grand total here. I cannot wait. 21 uh, plus 15, 36, 72. So the gold train here is 72. And then ring, I know, is 48. So that's 57. I'm just taking the remainders. And then this is 45. So what is this whole thing going to add to? Everyone wants to know. 
what it adds to. This is added to 102, so we're adding up to 174 plus 42. Uh, oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me! This whole thing adds to 216. I need you to do that one more time. And one more time again. 216 is the full birth name of Elvis Presley. Triple eight, tripled, and tripled again. If I could illustrate that in 3D, essentially what that would look like is precisely this. A three-dimensional cube of triple eights. So here's a, a triple of triple eights like this, and then you have a triple of it. Well, we can do it. It's actually just a three-fold set of them. So, we're actually going to take the time to do this. This is the glory of that number 216. It's triple eight, tripled, and tripled again. So, a triple of three by three grids of eights to the glory of Jesus was in it. That, that is this number 216. Triple eight, tripled, tripled again. One, two, three grids of three by three eights. 216. That is what national hiring today adds to. If this hire doesn't play out, I'm already happy. Okay, um, so <clears throat> national hiring today. You know, I, I really, I, I'm gonna, after this, I'm going to have to throw all these things in the computer and see what other artistic interweave effects of threes there are and all this because we just want to squeeze it all out. Um, but I already see as well that this is bookended with threes. You know, the first letter and the last letter knit together, New York and Y, make 39. Divides by 3, 3 times 13. In fact, I'm seeing a lot of that. T and Y knit together, H and G knit together, N and A and L. Good enough, okay? So that means you've got four loves. National hiring today is four loves. 54 times 4 is 216. So I know what you're asking now. Can we find the four loves in national hiring today? Ooh boy, that's going to be a task. Are you up for the challenge, kids? Um, yes, we are. Be it ever so. Oh, that's going to be a tiring piece of work. Um, you know, I may not do this all right now. 36, you know what? It's not hard. I'm convinced it's not hard. Let's, let's take the first letters in this lab. There's T number 1, 54. Now let's go... Um, I want to get a 36 here, RIR is 18, another 18, 24 plus 21, 15, okay, that's what I had going. So now these guys, 15 plus 21 is 36 plus, let's say, the R right here, boom, that's love number two. Now we have 21 plus 24, man, this is actually way easier than I thought. There, love number three, I already did it. I already found four loves. That was a record time. I found the four loves in national hiring today. Boom, it's a good day. Okay, so I'm going to show you those again. So here's love number one. Here's team number one. Ooh, that's a nice royal purple. There's team number one for love. Okay, now here's team number two. Okay, love number two. A-T-N-A-R. Now here's team number three. 24 plus ing is 24 plus 30 equals love. And then here's the final team, I, O, and day. Four teams of love apiece. Love plus love, now I'm just going to draw the hearts on there for artistic effect. That is exactly what we have just achieved. National hiring today. You know, I'm going to have to take a video camera down there and record this glory. But, no. No, because remember, it's more pleasurable to see it in your mind. It's more pleasurable to use your imagination based on the words alone that I'm telling you in this story. And that's why God made the Bible exactly the way that it is. God did not give us a video of the Bible. He gave us the words of the Bible so we enjoy the pleasure of our minds, imagining the scene as the story is given to us in words. And so I'm going to leave you with the pleasure of seeing the National Hiring Today text on the sign of the McDonald's. You know, sign by the road as I was walking there, and whoa. Okay, 
So that's love plus love plus love plus love. And we found the four loves in national hiring today. Bam! And did I experience love when I walked in to the McDonald's on national hiring today <laughs> signage? Oh yeah, I did. I was treated like royalty by the manager. And we had a fantastic conversation. And I got some fantastic gems, which is I'm loving it. That, that is one that I got from the manager's mouth. Uh, in the question in, in the interview period, asking me how um, I would contribute to the I'm loving it uh, motto and all this stuff. So we're going to solve I'm loving it um, right now. But that is so cool. That, that is astronomical. 216 of them, boom, just like a truck. Okay, so. <laughs> You cannot not laugh when you say, I'm loving it, <laughs> in the context of McDonald's. Okay, so here we go. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it is coming up next. And this one I solved on the way home because I knew it was good. I'm loving it. This is the official I'm Loving it. The official motto of McDonald's, and typically we'll have a little TM up here because TM equals 33 to the glory of the triune God. This is official. I'm loving it. And it doesn't have a G because if it had a G, it wouldn't divide by a 3 perfectly like we're going to see right now. Okay? I'm loving it. This is how I checked it in my mind. Okay? I put this M and this T together. Speak of famous MTs. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Emperor's new goof. Um, 33, 33. MT, very famous pair written all over the universe in little letters, capitals everywhere. If you're really good, you'll count the number of strokes to carve those. Two for a T plus four for an M equals six double three. Genius to the glory of eternity. TM equals 33 and 3 plus 3 strokes. Um, so, and then the V and the N go together to make 36. And then the rest of the letters all divide by 3. <gasps> Whoever came up with this slogan was a genius from eternity past. His name is God. And God ordained it to be so on the lips of men for the mathematical glory of himself. And the more you look, the more you see for the number three. The most obvious thing is you've got three words. One, two, three. The next most obvious thing is you've got nine letters. Two plus five plus two equals nine. That's three times three. Or three plus three plus three. And now we should count the number of strokes before we get to the grand total. An I is one stroke, okay? An I is one stroke. And you study enough words mathematically, and you get that very clearly discovered. Okay, boom. You've got three eyes. I have to do this. Yes, there are three eyes. Bing, bing, bing. I'd like to buy another vowel. O. There is one O. Bing. I'd like to solve the puzzle. I'm loving it! Yeah! A brand new car! Okay, uh, there we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you've got three eyes. The better to see you with, my dear. Three eyes. The better to see you with. Three I. I is king for three. It's three times three. It's nine, the ninth letter. And there's three of them. I'm loving it. You can't not smile when you say that. And uh, you got to know that God ordained this from eternity past and ordained that it would be on the lips of men, certainly on the lips of the McDonald's people. I'm loving it. You know, the thing about this phrase is you can say it so many different ways, it's really hard to know what to do with it. Because you can, you can really push it in a weird way. It's hard to know how to say it without sounding you know, artificial. I'm loving it. It has to come out of you naturally. Um, I'm loving it. It makes me smile. Okay. I'm loving it. Okay. Um.
<laughs> Three inches. Oh, I'm loving it. Hallelujah. Symphony of some sort. Okay, so I'm loving it. Um, uh, so, inquiring minds want to know. Okay, let's, we have three words. Three. We have nine letters. Three times three. How many strokes? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. That equals the seventh prime. That's not exactly that stellar. Okay? I'm being completely honest with you. It could be better. Um, and now, well, seven always serves the deeper glory. This is seven, 17 is all factor seven, and it's the seventh prime. Seven always serves the deeper glory of the three or the eight. Um, okay, what does it add to? Inquiring minds want to know, and then we're going to, oh, I already did it in my head on the way home. I'm loving it equals 117. 117, which equals mathematician. And then you can find love plus love plus nine. It's super easy. It's like the easiest phrase of all time to find love in. So easy because there's so many nines in it. This total divides by nine. It's literally love plus love plus nine. Okay? So anytime you have bonus threes on top of the loves that you find, that's cherries on top. Just cherries on top for the number three. So you got love plus love plus three times three. I'm loving it. There you go, it sounded natural that time. You, you, got, you almost have to really subdue yourself if you don't want to come out, you know, I'm loving it. It's like you have to be the coolest and the most casual that you possibly can if you're going to have any hope of not breaking an instant smile. As soon as you put a little energy behind that, it's like, it's like, I'm loving it. You know, people are just like, all right. Okay, so. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh boy. So now let's find love and I'm loving it. Well, this is um, really, really easy to do. Okay. Um, so easy. It's, it's actually ridiculous. So I'm going to put the TV together to spell TV as a television. That makes 42 plus the L makes us love number one. Um, you could also 